Yeah, what a wonderful new day. Welcome, thems and fems and dudettes. Uh, how is it going? It's your boy, Weasel, and we're back with Minecraft. You might notice some changes. They are subtle, but they're noticeable, and I will probably spend most of the episode going over them. I played a little bit by myself. Uh, you know, a few hours here and there. I tried not to go too crazy on progress, um, because I still want to do things in the series, but I also wanted to play a little bit and, you know, just get some stuff out of the way. Anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, let me show you what's what and what's new, and, um... Well, in the meantime, maybe you could hit that like button for me. I, I know it's super annoying to ask that before the video is even through, but I know many of you like the series and a lot of folks just forget to hit the like button. So if you could just spend that second to hit that like button, that'd be great. All right, so uh, as you can see, uh, there's been some um, expansion in terms of brewing. And we built a pool up here. I built the pool for water, but... Um, then I realized, you know what would be cool? Like a pool up above the base with glass surrounding it. And it's just like a little bit that I started to build. Uh, I didn't finish it or anything yet. And as you can see, I built a little bridge over to this little uh, hill that I also got some like uh, trees from. And it started because I put the bamboo on this hill. As you can see, it has grown quite a bit. And I like the look of it. And I think I'll just even add more there on the side. It's just... Kind of an interesting thing to look at. Um, over here, I just, you know, uh, chopped some trees. It was essentially just about me getting some uh, wood for further construction. So I built this little bridge over here. Ooh, a cow. Perfect. I'm going to need you. Um, a cow brings me to the next thing. Um, I started getting some more animals in. I have now plenty of pigs, which we will visit shortly. I have not farmed them such a weird thing to say about animals. But uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet, but um, I only caught one cow. You can see her over there. And there's also like a pen for sheep that I built real quick and I got some trees chopped down in this area as well. Um, where's the cow? I just saw it. Come here, cow. Let Yes, you, come here. I also forgot to turn on the music, my bad. Yeah, I think it's not working because it's... Uh... <laughs> oh wait, there it is, tool belt. There, I, I think I need to make a tool belt. I don't know how to do that, though. Maybe the recipe book will tell me. Tool, tool, nope. Hmm, how to make a tool belt now? Hmm, good question. Well, it turns out we're gonna need a little bit of leather for that. I, I just looked up the recipe. But essentially, it creates a little storage just for your tools, which is really a thing I, 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 I wanna have because switching the tools out back and forth with the inventory is rather, like, annoying. And I kind of feel like that little bit of uh, storage space and stuff would really help. So that's something I'm going to work towards. Um, another thing that I installed, and that's, I think, the mod that I'm personally excited the most for, that's also, I guess, the most mm, game-changing, I would say. Oh, I have some string here. Uh, game-changing, that's uh, cooking for blockheads. And I'm going to have to figure out if I have enough uh, resources to do that. I think I do. Um, one of them would be a fridge that can hold items. And I'm going to make one of those. So we do have a chest somewhere. I'm pretty sure I could just make one. No problem. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, this is just like kind of like a showcase of me making stuff. Do I need a spruce? Nope, it needs to be a metal door, I'm pretty sure. An iron door. So give me some good old iron ingots, please. Iron door, thank you very much. Oh, three of them. So chest and door will create a fridge. Boop. Very exciting. Also, um, I think, yeah, food items. Now, if I hover over them, that's part of, I think, Apple Skin will show how much extra saturation and food they give me, which is really going to help me out just understanding what this game does. Oh, yeah. Oh, big thing. You already noticed. Uh, original Minecraft texture pack, and I'm kind of embracing it. I'm kind of digging it a lot. Um, I switched it out because um, the vanilla wasn't really... Um, 
you know, the vanilla BD craft didn't have the new nether textures in there. So I decided, you know what, let's just try the regular one. And I've been playing for a little bit and I like it. And I still think the vanilla BD craft is really cool. But when you have this on and you enable a specific option, I think in this case it's called... Um, I think it's connected textures fancy. It kind of like, you know, flips them and... No, that's not it. Emissive textures? No, that's not it either. There is a thing that will flip the textures to reduce the uh, look of it being so blocky and repetitive. And it really made a big difference to... Uh, my enjoyment of this texture pack so yeah that's a thing that i turned on and now i really like it and i might stick with this so i hope that's not too jarring for most of you hey enrico would you like some 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 food i feel like you deserve some food and then please don't hover in the air that makes you very creepy anyways uh so now that we have a fridge let's we're gonna have to think kitchen kitchen i guess kitchen goes just just here um yep there's our fridge and that totally i totally messed that up can i just move you over thank you let's make a um second fridge block because this is just like a mini fridge you can i think stack them and it becomes a bigger fridge so i'm gonna try that right now do 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 and with the chest and the iron door we're gonna make another fridge and let's place you Haha! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think uh, the inventory didn't really like that. Anyway, so we got now a nice big old fridge, which I like a lot. I'm gonna move this stuff over into the fridge. You kidding me? That's awesome. I like this so much. That's excellent. And there's also gonna be a recipe book that you can use. And I'm not entirely sure how it works, but we do need a book, which I think I can make. I still have some leather somewhere. Where did I store leather up here? Um, a recipe book, which then will tell us with what kind of foods we can make with the foods that we have. Essentially, I like, oh, you have these ingredients? Well, let's make this, you can make this kind of food. So um, let's make uh, a book for that. Uh, books, 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 books. I'm gonna need some paper for that. And leather, and then book. I forgot what the actual rest of, there it is. Book, thank you. So we got ourselves a book and I forgot. It's like it's not a sign. It's um. There, there's another mod called um J E I or um essentially anything that shows you all the recipes. But I kind of felt like that would spoil the exploration for me because it shows everything you can make even if you have none of the ingredients. And I kind of like it being revealed like this. I think the other item I need to make this is a picture frame, which I don't think I've ever, or just a picture, not picture frame, which I don't think I've ever done. So I'm gonna need some, I'll look that up. I'm gonna need some wool. Where do I store my wool? There's one brown wool, that'll do. I just need one. And then I'm going to need sticks. Give me those, thank you. Uh, I guess those are other recipe. Yeah, sleeping bags, brown sleeping bag, orange. Yeah, you can you can dye those. Um. Where's my good old, there's my brown wool, and then I'm gonna need my sticks, and I'm gonna surround this, and ta-da, we have a painting. That's the word I was looking for, thank you. Now that we have our painting, we can use painting and book. No, does it need to happen on a crafting table? Painting and book. Wait, I think they might have changed this up. I'm trying to make sense because the documentation for this isn't very good. Um, there's my furnace. So if I took a book into the... Yes. Book in furnace creates cooking book. Oh, there's a spider crawling up the <laughs> bamboo. I think either I'm burning the book right now or... Yes. Cooking for blockheads recipe book one. Excellent. That's what I was looking for. Um, and you can turn this into a better one, but we're gonna need diamonds for that and crafting tables and stuff like that. But shows food you can make with the things you have in your inventory. Excellent. So let's try that. Let's just grab some various stuff that I have and just see what it offers me, um, if it even offers me something. Um, all right, book, 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 book. And now, yes, it shows me baked potato and it shows me bread. I can make potatoes. I just need to put them in a 
Um, yeah, they're kind of like the same like bread. Um, so I'm not going to make those, but it's a really nice little thing to have. It's going to be really useful, um, I think. I'm going to keep that in here. I'm just going to throw this stuff in. I'll sort this stuff between episodes, I think. But yeah, this is pretty excellent. Um, one thing I'm looking into is a backpack because I feel very limited with all of the stuff that I can carry. Also, like, let's put the painting up. Uh, there. Oh, Jesus, Louise, this is a huge one. Ah, this, uh, this is a little too big. Also, I don't like the look of it. Um, uh, wow, I didn't expect it to be that ginormous. Oh, how did you get in here? You can f, f right off. You can, you can uh, suck an egg. <sighs> of course, you break my stuff. So rude and inconsiderate of this guy. So rude. I'm just gonna fix this real quick because that'll bother me. I'm gonna have to put more torches down, won't I? Won't I? Even have a guard dog. Guard dog does nothing. Um, did we pick up the other door? I yes, there it is. There's the birch door. <sighs> All right. That <laughs> wrong way, weasel. Wrong, wrong way. Anyways, so yeah, this is the stuff. I'd like to build more in the kitchen. That's gonna be one of the goals to like like set up a kitchen area because I think that'd be really darn neat. Um, where are my torches? I'm just gonna go around and play some torches now. But yes, that I think concludes all the things. Oh, this broke. Um, all the things that I've done, um, that I've changed, um, in Minecraft. Those are all the mods, and I think it's still fairly reasonable. It's not, you know, over the top crazy stuff that I added. Uh, it's just, you know, kind of quality of life and the cooking thing. I just like the idea of a recipe book and having a little kitchen. It might not be 100% vanilla, but I also don't think it's going to affect the game play drastically. This is just a fancy looking, um, oh, there's even, you can even see the stuff in there, like, that's in there. There's carrots and melon, that's really neat. Um, it's, you know, it's gonna be a little kitchen and it's gonna be really neat, I'm gonna change that up. Maybe I'm gonna put the kitchen on the second floor. This is getting really crammed here. Or I'm just gonna move this stuff up. It's, yeah, complicated. Anyway, there's a sink, there's an oven, there's all kinds of stuff we can build, and we're gonna look into that. Um, yeah, so this episode was just me showing you what I've been up to the last few hours that I've been playing this. And I hope that was fairly interesting. Please don't judge this mess that I've been making with these chests. Um, I will... I will move them down. Probably in between episodes for the next one. I figured we're gonna do something fun either We're gonna go explore more in the nether or we're just gonna explore the rest of the map because we do have a big old Where's my map? Oh, there it is. We still have like a big old other side of the map to explore. Um, I Think we're gonna need a boat for that. Um, I'm gonna take a potion of Swiss swiftness with me and all of that stuff. But yeah, I think I'd like to explore more of this. I've been thinking of installing a mini map tool or just a map tool for Minecraft, but I, that I feel is a little bit too um, drastic of a change, if that makes sense. Um, other than that, yeah. Um, I guess I'm gonna throw this in as a regular episode because I mean, it. It was a regular episode. I just didn't really get anything done. It was just more of a showcase what I've been up to. So I hope you don't mind that. And um, if you liked this, I will gladly do more of that whenever I do something in between episodes. Just give you like a recap of what I did. Um, but I, it shouldn't be like a full episode. I'm also going to very likely um, extend the episode lengths a little bit because... I've been playing a lot, and I've been uh, um, having these, like, 25-minute episodes, and then I have a few of those, and there's quite a bit of time between me releasing the episode and then recording a new one, and then all of this stuff happens in between. So I'm probably going to extend um, the lengths a little bit, and I hope that's okay with you. Uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking along for uh, the series. It's been... It's been great. Like I'm, I'm, I'm genuine when I'm saying I think this series is really what I needed for myself and probably the channel. Not so much for the views. And I'm, I'm gonna address this. At I'm still going to address this despite me wanting to wrap this up a little bit because I'm already 
running on a really high minute mark, but I think it's important to 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 talk about this stuff. And I also want to talk more about those things in the future. Um, it's been good for me to have this on the channel because, first of all, the comments have nothing but been supportive of this. Um, except the occasional, like, people that are sad that my view count is low. Um, and honestly, that's great. Um, I've been coming back to YouTube to enjoy myself and create content for people that will enjoy it. Um, I've been falling into the trap of creating content that's just... Yeah, it'll get the clicks, it'll get the views, and... But I'm not enjoying the process in doing so. Like a hyper-edited video, like, I've been spending, like, 10 hours a day making those. And then people, um, you know, like, they might enjoy them. Uh, but at the end of the day, it just really burnt me out, and I didn't enjoy it as much. Like, making one fun edited video ones was great. Um, like, oh man, yeah, this turned out really great. This is really hilarious. And then I did the next one and the next one and the next one, and I kind of started losing focus on why I was doing this in the first place. And it's a creative outlet. It's it's a fun outlet for me. And it's just something that I enjoy. There's so many great YouTubers out there that I recommend you watch. Like, Graystall Place makes fun little edited videos that I kind of try to imitate. Um, Josh still plays. No, not Josh still plays. Let's game it out. <laughs> Josh from Let's Game It Out. Um, C Top uh, does VR. Uh, that's amazing. Absolute check that stuff out. Um, if you like the more um, less edited down um, games, um, but more of an indie focus, Dre is great for that. Dre Gast. Um, I don't know if he still wants people to refer to him as Dre Gast. He switched to Dre. Anyways, uh, my point is there's so many great YouTubers out there. You don't need me to do just another quickly edited video to just throw it into uh, into YouTube and compete with everyone else. This is this is this is our this is our little little thing, and I've been enjoying it a lot. And I my mental health has improved just over the course of the last few days by doing Minecraft and not worrying about this kind of stuff tremendously i have patreon i have people that support me you know despite me being gone for years and then uh just coming back and just say like yeah do whatever you want i mean that was the whole idea about the patreon thing and um there's a few very generous people in there that you will see very soon in the outro and they've been also nothing but supportive none of them is like oh i really wish you would do something differently i really would have been changing anything so yeah, um, I've been thinking about Minecraft a lot. Um, I've been playing it a lot. I've been enjoying it a lot. And you will see more of that. You will most likely see a face of me mostly focusing on Minecraft because I have fun playing it. I will probably play something like RimWorld and other stuff as well because with everything, there's phases, you know. You don't you don't just play Minecraft for 10 years and uh, nothing else. But right now, I'm really into this. I'm really having fun, and I'm really glad that you guys stick along. Um, I love seeing the comments. I love seeing your interactions. I love seeing, um, you know, just the nice little friendly community that we're building. <sighs> All right, that, that really went on for a while. I'm sorry for being, like, rambling so much and not doing anything, but I figured if there was an episode where I get nothing done and just show you stuff or talk about stuff, this would be the episode. This would be that episode. So, um, yeah, next episode, I'm going to do something um, more r interesting. I think we're going to do some exploration in the nether or exploration of the world. One of those two. Um, I'm trying to find... I, I really am trying to find a village. I would like to do something with villagers, um, explore that aspect of Minecraft. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Probably. <laughs> I always change my mind last second. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Uh,